Welcome back to Tour Reviews 51. This is review number 89. Today we're going to do a um, Game of Thrones uh, from Factory Entertainment. This is the uh, desktop sculpture of the uh, Castle Black with the wall. So this is pretty cool. Um, I did I had the Winterfell one I did uh, probably about 20, 30 reviews ago. Um, so these are pretty much just take it out of the box type uh, um uh, sculptures so I've had this for about a month and a half two months or so uh, got it the day it was released so probably ain't ready to crack it open so let's go ahead and uh, take it out maybe there's some more inside artwork and let's take a look at this uh, uh, Game of Thrones sculpture here um, I really love the Game of Thrones stuff I mean I'm over the top with it everything they come out with I gotta have so let's go ahead and get to this one and see how it turns out Okay, well, I just cracked it out of the shipping container, as you can see. No artwork box. Oh, it's okay. Um, but it does come with this cool little um, uh, pamphlet here on the uh, sculpture. As you can see there, that's what the sculpture is going to look like. Looks pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up uh, all the way and take a look at this uh, pamphlet that comes with it, which is a nice little touch. Um, as you can see there, it has a little bit of literature about the uh, Castle Black. Oh, God, these things are hard to keep open. Okay, so there's a good thing. I hope the wall is high enough, Sam Tarly. Um, if you attack the wall, you will die. All of you. Jon Snow. Was Jon Snow probably one of the more popular characters, if not the most, from Game of Thrones, other than maybe um, uh, Daenerys, uh, Khaleesi? A um, little bit of literature, of course, like we said before. So it's a nice little pamphlet. It isn't really cheap paper. It's really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll crack this thing open and we'll take a look at the actual desktop sculpture. Uh, I have, luckily I have a, a plastic cover sleeve to hold this in. It's like a magazine cover. So I'm going to set this up right next to the Winterfell statue. It's going to look pretty cool, I think, maybe underneath it on one of the detoffs. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this cracked open and see what we think about it. Well, I just cracked this open out of the box and bam! This thing is a motherfucking beast look at this i mean just the bars the game of thrones logo um let me move it a little bit better here into the light um as you can see there the game of thrones logo um really cool thing on the back but as you can see here uh the wall with the ladder just goes really high this thing what would surprise me about the most is the weight this thing is heavy as hell i would say about near 20 pounds 18 to 20 pounds at minimum um, as you can see, I love how they do the little detail in here. Um, as you can see there, all the little, little shacks and, I mean, just the, the immaculate detail of these. I mean, that just blows my mind how good they did this. I mean, I remember on the, uh, Winterfell, they went as far as putting little wagons and stuff in there, which is really cool. Um, but you can see all the snow on the ground. Um, as you can remember, guys, remember, uh, Castle Black was taken over at the end of the last season. Um, let's take a look at the back here, which is pretty cool. I haven't read it or anything, but really nice, um, uh, little plaque in, in, inserted here into the middle of the back of this, um, where basically it's a quote, you know, from Castle Black, you know, all Night's Watch, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that's really cool. Um, let's, uh, all I'll do is I'll flip this over, um, but as you guys can see, I mean, I just, I love this. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, so to have something like this is really iconic. Really nice piece. Um, desktop sculpture, yeah, it's basically a statue to me. Um, but let's see if we can... There we go. Limited edition, there was a total of uh, 1,500 of these manufactured, put out in 2016, about a month ago. Um, this is number 188 of 1,500, as you can see there. Um, the Refactor Entertainment, I bought it through the HBO shop. Um, so I think it might still be, be uh, available there still, but really, really hard to know. I mean, I, I'd imagine they're sold out by now. Um, they weren't cheap, as you would expect, with all this detail here. Uh, great craftsmanship. Absolutely love it. Um, so what we'll do is a uh, good uh, up and down of it, and then uh, close out the video for this review here, um, of review number 89. So this is, again, the Castle Black from Game of Thrones with the wall from Factory Entertainment.
Well, there it is, guys. If you're looking to pick this up, you might be able to find it. It's really a crapshoot. Um, secondary market, you're going to pay a little bit more. Um, you might get lucky and find it at uh, the retail price. Um, I don't remember what it was. I want to say it was around four to $500. Um, but there you have it. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, remember, hit the subscribe button. Be ready for that one six kill giveaway. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next review, which will come out shortly, which is actually going to be a one six kill um, Hot Toys vehicle that I've been holding on to for way too long, and I'm ready now to crack it open, put it together, do all that hard work shit on these one six kill vehicles. Um, so that'll be following up. So until then, appreciate you guys watching. Peace out. Catch you on the next video. Later, everybody.